Hey there, got a quick Webflow tutorial for those of you who might just be starting out in Webflow, might have even purchased a template, and it comes with more pages than you need at the moment, and you don't necessarily want to delete those pages because you might need them in the future, you just want to make it so they're not accessible on your live site. Now, you might be thinking, okay, I'll just remove all links to those pages. However, that doesn't necessarily solve the problem because if someone knows how to finesse the search engines with certain queries, they can still find those pages. So if you want to hide pages from view, the one thing, the one way I would recommend is if you go to your pages tab, and let's say I want to hide this property page, I would go to the settings where it says edit page settings. And right where you would set where you would save it, there's this blue arrow. If you click on the blue arrow, you can save as a draft and that will unpublish that page. The one advantage you have of doing it this way is that it will be removed from your auto-generated sitemap and users will not be able to find it if they use a search on your site. So if you have like an on-page search, it users won't be able to find it. Alternatively, there's a way you could do it of having a password protection on pages. As you see right here, if you had a site plan, you could protect pages with a password. Now, if you do it that way, the pages are still accessible but you would need a password to view it. So one advantage you have of doing this is if you still want pages accessible, but they're internal pages or they contain client sensitive information, you could make it so it's restricted. So if you had a password, you can access it. So if you want it completely hidden, I'd recommend doing the draft, what I showed first. And if you want it where only certain people could view it, you could do the password protection. In addition, there's a third method, which is a little more advanced, and I wouldn't recommend it if you're just starting out in web development. But if you go to the, down to the custom code into the head tag, you can enter in this code. And what that does is it prevents the search engines from crawling the page. Now, the reason I don't recommend if you're just starting out is this is a little more advanced and you're messing with robot text. So if you're not comfortable with doing that, I wouldn't recommend it. I would just stick with doing the save as draft. So I hope that helps those of you just starting out Webflow. This meta code will be in the description. Thanks for watching and take care.